Automotive and aerospace industries have used hollow structures for decades to create lightweight but stiff parts. With additive manufacturing, we can take our concept to the next level and create hollow parts with a variable shell thickness and lattice infills resulting in lightweight high performance parts. We can control the material at every point in space, but how can we determine the optimal value? Field optimization removes that bottleneck. With field optimization, you can generate designs that meet competing objectives and constraints in a single step optimization process and remove the guesswork from multi-parameter optimization to achieve better design outcomes. Hello everyone, Yuki from NTOP, and I want to show you how we designed and lightweighted a bracket for NASA's Excite program challenge using our new field optimization capability. Let's dive right in. We aim to take this bracket, lightweight it using the loading conditions provided, and have a final part with a high stiffness to weight ratio. First, I imported the CAD body and converted it into an implicit and tops native format. I then meshed the implicit body, applied the boundary conditions, and ran a topology optimization to optimize the satellite bracket to get my global shape. Once I got the topology optimized part, I post-processed it and set it up for field optimization. I meshed it and applied the same boundary conditions I set up earlier for topology optimization, but ran a field optimization. Field optimization currently supports most topology optimization objectives and constraints, which makes the transformation of an existing topology optimization and top workflow to field optimization a quick and easy process. For this part, I applied a shell and infill optimization, which takes the part, variably thickens the shell and lattices based on the objectives to optimize the weight and stiffness of my part. As I run the field optimization, I let it converge and then I can check out the final result. Section cutting the part and using the iteration slider, I can see how FO converged to its result, variably shelling and variably thickening the lattices based on my loading conditions. I can even look at the field of the shell thickness and infill thickness during the optimization to understand where the wall and lattices were thickened. You also have the option to take a look at the property fields of the optimization as well. Running this field optimization resulted in a part that was twice as durable under vibration loading conditions while still coming in 6% lighter than alternative approaches used to date. Field optimization optimizes parts weight and vibrational stiffness by fine tuning the local wall and gyroid thickness. We know from traditional engineering design best practices that hollow structures typically have a higher moment of inertia and vibrational resistance. And with field optimization, we can translate this traditional engineering know-how to additive manufacturing. Now, this is a complex part. It's been topology optimized, variably shelled, and the lattices have been variably thickened. And if we're happy with the result but dread the thought of meshing this part, we have a solution. With our new implicit interop capability, you can export this part as an implicit file and import it into EOS Print without meshing using our NTOP plugin for EOS Print. I've shown you a lot today, so let me align with you on the key takeaways from this. Field optimization. You can now generate designs that meet competing objectives and constraints in a single step optimization process and remove the guesswork from multi-parameter optimization to reach better design outcomes in a fraction of the time. Field optimization also supports most topology optimization objectives and constraints. And lastly, implicit interop which allows you to eliminate data exchange bottlenecks for even the most complex design. The NTOP plugin for EOS Print allows you to directly import, set up, and print NTOP designs on EOS printers. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new today. Thank you. If you think field optimization could improve your design workflow, request a demo and talk to an NTOP expert. To learn more about field optimization, check out our support page at support.ntop.com and search field optimization for an FAQ page and a how to run field optimization page. If you like this video and want to see more, go to ntop.com under resources and videos. Check out our videos here.